Double decker buses carrying thousands of tourists are a common sight across Asia. But in Thailand, there's concern over the high number that are involved in accidents. Now the country's prime minister wants to ban them from the roads. Our Thailand correspondent Martin Lowe has more on that. In this roadworthiness test, high sided buses in Thailand have to be able to tilt at 30 degrees without falling over. But so far, only about 1 in 10 vehicles have been inspected. Riding buses here can be a perilous experience. Poor driving is often to blame. This video shows a bus overtaking on bends, weaving from one side of the road to the other, and accelerating to 100 kilometers an hour. Accidents are frequent. In this crash, 13 Malaysian tourists and a guide were killed. Throughout 2015, 230 people died in bus crashes, almost 20% more than the previous year. Now Thailand's Prime Minister, Prayut Chanocha, is ordering a ban on new double-decker buses. He believes they're prone to overturn, particularly on tight curves and steep slopes. There are claims locally manufactured buses may look like established makes, but are built to substandard design. I'm concerned. Some manufacturers just followed their clients' demands for high buses with big windows to give passengers the good view, so the center of gravity is too high. The higher the center of gravity, the more likely the bus is to topple over. The ban would see no new double-deckers allowed on the roads. Existing vehicles would be phased out over time. But bus operators want the decision reversed, saying the blame lies not with the buses, but driver error. I believe buses built in Thailand are safe. There is the tilt test for new buses now, so there is no difference between Thai and European safety standards. There are currently around 100 new double-decker buses waiting for registration here in Thailand, with 600 more under construction. Their combined value runs into hundreds of millions of U.S. dollars. Banning them from the roads would have serious financial consequences for the transport industry. But the Thai government says it's determined to tackle this issue, particularly after carnage on the roads at New Year. 380 people were killed, the highest figure for five years. The Prime Minister wants action before the next major Thai holiday, Songkran, in April, when millions travel to return home for the celebrations. Martin Lowe, CCTV, Thailand.